Yo, what's going on guys? Today we have a completely different video compared to last week. This week we have an unyellowing station set up with some tips. So I hope you guys are ready to take some notes because I've had a ton of questions on my setup. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow Instagram and Twitter listed down below along with everything else. And also make sure to check that description because majority of things used in this video will be linked down below. So guys, let's get right into this video. I appreciate you guys for watching last week's video. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed it and what else you wanna see. So this light is a 1000 watt Galaxy Hydro I got from Amazon. It'll be linked down below and we're just gonna explain how I have it set up. As you guys can see, I have a lot of open areas, especially near the light, so that way it can all get proper ventilation because when you do 12 to 24 hour sessions with these lights, it gets very hot and just popping a fan isn't gonna do enough. The two main ways I keep the station nice and cool is by having the inside fan on full blast and keeping the room temperature low by either leaving the window open or leaving the ceiling fan on a low speed to circulate the air. Going back to proper ventilation, you see I have a huge hole there in the back of my station. That is the biggest area that I let all the hot air go out and escape. Now there are other ones like little crevices and little areas and little flaps right here because all I do is I throw a little piece of fake leather from Joann's as the cover and all the air seeps out from the sides keeping the majority of the light inside reflecting on the shoes for the most efficient unyellowing station. So before you start applying your soul sauce, prep them properly with a nice good deep clean and then letting them dry and hitting them with acetone afterwards. And then you can get to taping off the outsoles. I use electrical tape from Angelus Direct because it's super flexible and gets around these edges super easily and then the middle areas I use regular masking tape. Now you need to tape off these pots so that way you don't lose traction, you don't discolor them and you don't damage them because I've seen and I've had it happen to me, I've had these pots dry out because I was too lazy to tape it off. So definitely tape it off because you do not want to damage these areas. Yeah, yeah, at this point, what you want from me? Cause right now, bitch, I'm fighting demons. And that bitch did me bad for no reason. She took these in this man, leave him screaming. Pass the guard to my bro, we tattooing. Nah, but it's in the glow with the beam. A cool trick to use when using the electrical tape is to heat it up so that way you can make sure none of this is gonna peel up. And it helps with adhesion so that way it doesn't lift during the process of unyellowing. She did me bad for no reason. She took these in this man, leave him screaming. Pass the guard to my bro, we tattooing. Nah, but it's in the glow with the beam. There are a ton of soul sauces out there like 40 Volume, 50 Volume, Angelus Direct, and a bunch of other third party brand soul sauces, but today we're using the homie Chris's Custom Kick Soul Sauce. Definitely suggest wearing some pretty strong gloves when working anything with super high peroxide because it will eat through your skin and it hurts like a mother chucka. But we're using a paintbrush to apply it on these outsoles. I have a specifically designated brush that doesn't get used for anything else other than applying soul sauce. Personally, I kind of globbed the soul sauce on there. Not too much to where you can't even see the outsole anymore, but just enough to where when I put my my paper down you can still see the outsole but there is enough sauce there to make it do some work and then yellow it properly. At this point, what you want from me? Cause right now, bitch, I'm fighting demons. And that bitch did me bad for no reason. She threw threes in this man, leave him screaming. Pass the glock to my bro, he tattooing me. Nine bullets in the glock with the beaming. Been hurt so many times, they don't bleed it. And that bitch will freak lick up my semen. We took one soul from the Cool Grey and the other soul from the Anniversary 11. We are going to be doing identical situations for unyellowing just to show you guys that not every single outsole is going to come out great, looking the same, or even get unyellowed at all. So we're going to be wrapping it up and then we're going to be throwing it in the station.
wonder if I'm ever on her mind like she's on mine Probably not, I swear I never seen a girl so fine She probably got tons of guys trying to hit her line and take her time I guess I better step in line She got me shook, fell in love on the first look So guys, here is the outcome with my specific light and using Chris's Custom Kicks Soul Sauce I do recommend this sauce for more stubborn and yellowed outsoles. You can use sauces like Angelus Direct Soul Sauce that work great on rubber pieces and some translucent soles. We took two different soles with completely different backgrounds. The Anniversary 11s were super yellow due to wear and age, while the Cool Grays were yellowed strictly from age. Those have never been worn. In person, the Anniversary 11s definitely had the better outcome, I think. One more session for both of these shoes would have really brought out the iciness in both of them. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a few things from this video. This setup is super inexpensive and works really well. Any questions you feel I missed, ask in the comments and I'll answer them. I'd appreciate it if you guys left a like and subscribe. Only takes a second of your day. It's been Solid Sneakerhead, guys. I'm signing off. I'll see you next week. Peace out. Yeah. I tend to fall in love with every pretty girl I see practically But how come they never fall in love with me? I mean, G, pardon me, but I'm better than those assholes you talk to Who claim that they got you, but clearly that's not true, uh I feel a vibe between us, can you feel it too? Or maybe I'm just tripping, I'm just really feeling you You want a power trip, that pretty girl power shit Got every guy falling, you'd have Superman powerless It ain't fair, I swear it ain't fair The way she look, I can't help but just stare she makes